Well, good morning, everyone. It's so good to be back with you today. Well, you may have noticed that there was a little bit of a color change that happened from the past couple, past few Sundays we've had. Now you see what's up on the altar. What's the different color now? Red, right? Red is the color that we wear to remind us of what God the Holy Spirit has done and what he keeps on doing for you and for me. You know, God the Holy Spirit, especially on today, we talk about what he does because, you know, today is the day of what we call Pentecost. Can you say Pentecost? Yeah, and as you just heard from God's word, that's the day where we remember that God the Holy Spirit, the third person, can you hold up three fingers like this? That's the third person of God, the Father, God, the Son, God, the Holy Spirit, the three persons and the one God. That's what he did on that special day we remember on Pentecost that he was given as a gift to these followers of Jesus. And you know what he allowed them to do? He gave them the ability to talk in all these different languages. And you know what they were talking about? They were talking all about Jesus. That's what they were doing. They were telling all these people that came all from all around the world to hear and to be there for Pentecost. And that's what they were being able to hear, all about Jesus. And you know what's amazing? Is that you have the Holy Spirit with you. I want you to say it with me. I want you to say, I have the Holy Spirit. I have the Holy Spirit. Yeah, the Holy Spirit, what he did was he worked this wonderful gift inside of you. And we call that faith. Can you say faith? That's that special gift that I keep talking to you about. As you hear God's word, God, the Holy Spirit, he created this gift in you. And what's also amazing is that the Holy Spirit is called our helper. Can you say helper? Yeah, he's called our helper because guess what he helps us to do? As you read God's word, he helps you to understand things. He helps you to kind of figure some things out. And he helps other people who also have other believers to understand things too as you hear and as you read the Bible. Isn't that amazing? Now he's also called the comforter. Can you say comforter? Yeah, because he comforts us, right? He comforts us through God's word. And I want you to remember today that the Holy Spirit is with you and he's working in you all the time as you hear God's word. Just as he's working today in Miss Heavenly today, right? As she's hearing God's word and as Logan, as he gets, gets older and he hears God's word, God's gonna create that wonderful, special, special gift for him too, right? It's a special miracle that you guys got to see in baptism today, in two baptisms. So I want you guys to remember today that the Holy Spirit is with you, right? He helps you and he comforts you. Now today, I'm going to give you a special treat to remind you that you have the Holy Spirit, the gift there that helps you to understand. Today, you're going to get what I would call a comfort food. Some people would call this a comfort food, some special Hershey's chocolate. And that's going to be your gift today. And I hope you can share it with someone else and you can tell them about how you got to learn about God the Holy Spirit today. Can you do that for me? And you can share this comfort food with them, okay? Before I do that, let's go ahead and pray to God and let's thank Him for the Holy Spirit. Let's thank God the Father for the Holy Spirit. Ready? Here we go. I'm going to hold this close for just a minute. All right, let's fold our hands and pray. Here we go. Dear God, thank you. For the gift of your Holy Spirit, help us to share you with others. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay.